Welcome from Guidance Software. This in-case demonstration is a Guidance Software on-demand training presentation. In this presentation, you'll be able to view one of the lessons available in the version 5 to version 6 update training course. This course engages the student by demonstrating the new features and differences from version 5 to version 6. During the actual Guidance Software on-demand training, interaction by the student is required such as typing and clicking on objects, virtually using the software online. Included in various training courses are hands-on practical exercises, which include actual training evidence files. Okay, let's get started. While viewing this presentation, you'll find yourself in demonstration mode by simply viewing. However, when actually receiving the training from guidance software, you'll be participating in the virtual use of NK software. We've done this to give the user examiner the closest experience of actually using the software as possible. We hope you enjoy all portions of this demonstration and again welcome you. We'll start this demonstration with the first lesson in the course. This lesson is an introduction to the different panes within NCASE and covers security key registration. The GUI for version 6 will look familiar to version 5 users. The four pane layout is still present. Let's take a few moments to go over each of the panes to better understand their purpose and function. The tree pane. Encase users have long been familiar with the explorer-like appearance to Encase, where the tree-like folder structure of the drive is displayed in the left pane. This remains true in version 6. The table pane. The table pane contents are dynamic and are driven by the tab selection in the tree pane. As always, the columns displayed in the table pane adjust to reflect the data associated with the selected tab in the tree pane. Version 6 has brought some different content to the fields in several of the pane views, such as those in the Entries tab. As with the tree pane, there's also an entirely new view for records, which is part of a new approach to viewing certain kinds of data in version 6. The View Pane the view pane is driven by the status of the table pane, displaying the contents of any selected item or entry in the table pane. This has always been the area where the examiner does a majority of his or her work, and in version 6 we've made several changes intended to improve the user experience here. The most obvious will be the document viewing functions added through the use of Stellian's Inside Out Viewer Technologies. These will be covered in more detail later. The filter pane. The filter pane continues to be the area of the screen where the user can see, edit, and launch the power tools of NCASE, filters, queries, and inscripts. To begin, we'll start by creating a new case. I'll click the new button located on the top button bar. Here you'll see the normal items presented to the NCASE examiner, such as case name, examiner name, default export folder, and temporary folder. In case version 6 now introduces text indexing. With the introduction of the new text indexing facility, this path, which is highlighted, will enable the examiner to specify a folder to be used for that purpose. The default folder will be the index subfolder of the NCASE program folder as shown. I'll click the finish button to finish creating the new case. Great. Now that we have created a new case, let's add an evidence file to have some data within the case to show the new features of NCASE. I'll go ahead and click the Add Device button on the top button bar. In this dialog box, we can add the NCASE evidence file we wish to add to our case. Here we can select the C Borrow Evidence File, entry number 3, by placing a blue check or tick in the checkbox. Good, now we can click the Next button. And Next once again. And lastly, I'll click the Finish button for us. All right, now that we have an open case, let's talk about a few features regarding installation and registration, including Inscripts. NCASE now has 64-bit support. Installation of the 64-bit version of the software requires the use of the 64-bit self-extracting installer program and the 64-bit version of the outside-in installation file. The 64-bit version can also coexist with the 32-bit version of the program. Version 6 now supports module certificates 
for the physical disk emulator, virtual file system, and others being programmed into the user's Aladdin HASP security key. The installation of a separate module certificate into the search subfolder may therefore be unnecessary. This brings your modules wherever you happen to take your dongle. Version 6 updates will only be available once the user has registered his or her security key via the option on the help menu. Let's take a look at the registration page and method to register your security key, commonly known as a computer dongle. To start the registration process, I'll click on the help item on the top toolbar, then click register in case. As you can see, your default browser will appear. In this case, it's Internet Explorer. We are aware that forensic workstations are not connected to the Internet, but if you happen to have a copy of Encase installed on a computer connected to the Internet, this is the method to use. Alternate instructions are given on the web page to complete registration of your security key. One of the methods shown on the registration web page gives instructions to copy a file named register.html to a computer connected to the Internet. By copying and opening the file, which can be found on the default installation folder of Encase, registration is also possible using your security key. The last method shown is to simply visit the guidance software site and register your security key. Thank you from Guidance Software for viewing this on-demand presentation. More information can be found on the Guidance Software website at guidancesoftware.com.